Hey, come on in. How you doing, Jesse? Yes. Nathan with ADP. Hey, nice Nathan, how are you? Good. Nice to see you today. Good. Do you mind if I put my stuff down? No, come on in. I oh, appreciate man. it. Appreciate it. Man, I gotta say, I was talked to Ginger on the way in, and she showed me around your facility a little bit. It's okay. really impressive. And what you guys had uh, have good. going on here? Glad you like it. Yeah, everyone seemed very happy, up to date. They're sweating their butt off, so you guys are doing a good <laughs> job here in the gym. Well, they do. They should be. Good. Now, before I get started today, I just wanted to provide you with a business card real quick. This just ensuring a line of communication. If you have okay. any question, further questions for me, uh, you have my name and my name, phone number, and email on there. Feel free to reach out to me at any time. Okay. Uh, you and your brother. Uh, your brother too, as well. Okay. Um, hey, I got to ask that before you get started. Not a problem. I understand ADP is a huge contributor to the Democratic Party. Is that is that true? Hey, I'm not sure how we're going to do business together if that's what you guys are doing. I, I completely understand. Uh, I don't like to mix politics and business. Um, I like to keep it strictly professional. Uh, that's just how I, I I like to do business. Is that all right with you? It may be a problem. It may be a problem. Okay. Well, I'd look to clarify that with you a little bit later. Um, or I could clarify that with you now. Um, what, what may be the problem there? Well, you know, we're lifelong Republicans, and, and okay. uh, they believe in the you know, conservative and you know, Republican Party. So you guys are huge donators, you know, <laughs> contributor to that. Right. Well, I believe in helping small businesses. I don't believe in siding with a Democratic or Republican candidate at this time. I believe in helping small businesses like yourself grow and succeed into the future and assist them in providing them with up-to-date payroll and HR technology. And today I wanted to uh, kind of talk to you about a few of those things, if you don't mind uh, us continuing on that. Is that okay. right with you? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Okay, great. It may be a problem, but we'll go ahead. <laughs> Great. Well, first, I wanted to commend you on your business structure and your mission as an organization. Having a little sister and uh, a girlfriend, seeing organizations being brought up like this makes me feel a little bit better because they're, they're a big worry to me and it puts a stress on me, mm -hmm. making sure that they're safe. And I had a friend in college who started an organization called Bros for Consent, and it um, actually was developed to uh, help teens and educate them on sexual abuse and sexual consent on college campuses. So I'm, I'm glad we're seeing a little movement there and organizations and that going into that realm because it is such a problem. It's, so. it's important to us. Okay, great. And I'm glad you guys are continuing with that. You know, um, kind of moving forward, speaking with Jeff uh, a couple days ago on the phone, um, he expressed to me that your company was interested in streamlining off back office uh, activities. And he mentioned, I mentioned that I could help him with payroll and HR solutions. And he got really excited about that. But the conversation kind of got cut off really short. And he mentioned that I would be meeting with you at the last minute. So I just wanted to know what you wanted to accomplish in today's meeting today. Well, he, he's right. You know, we're trying to get a little more efficient. Okay. The more, you know, streamline things a little better. You know, make sure we're doing things right. So, so yeah, he, he's right about that. Okay. Yeah. And both the payroll and HR area of your organization. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wanted to be respectful of your time. I know it's Sunday and it's late in the day, so I probably want to get home. Um, I wanted to keep our meeting to a brief about 20 minutes. Does that work for you? Yeah, it should work for us. Yeah. Okay. So I set up about an agenda so we could get through uh, some talking points. I can understand your business a little bit better. Um, so do you mind if I go through that agenda with you real quick? Let's roll. Uh, I wanted to learn a little bit about uh, your, your industry and how it operates um, in regards to payroll and HR. I want to talk about some solutions ADP may be, may be able to provide you to help you streamline that process there. And if there are solutions um, that we could provide to you and you agree on that, then we'll talk about next steps and implementation. Does that sound all right with you? Sure does. So when, it, when looking at um, calculating payroll process upgrade, who would be involved in that decision? Uh, I make pretty much make the, you know, I handle it, so I made a decision on that. You know, Jeff and I usually consult on some things, but. Okay. So when it comes to when it comes to making a decision like that, um, and you feel comfortable that some of the solutions I provide to you today, you would uh, you could go ahead and make the decision to. I could, yeah. That? I could, okay. yeah. Typically, Jeff and I talk through some things. Actually, as a matter of fact, he's even got a uh, a buddy that's in the payroll. Oh, really? Business. I don't even know the name of the company, but a friend of his is. So you know, we may talk to him a little bit too. But okay, just to see what's going on with okay. that. But but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's my decision to make. But absolutely, you know, we're partners in this thing. So okay, sounds good. So Jeff and your friend won't be joining us today. No, not to today. Okay, great. Well, um, I also wanted to know, so you said that you uh, have a friend that's in payroll as well? Yeah, Jeff does. Uh, Jeff does. Okay. 
When, uh, what are some of the decision criteria you guys use when evaluating uh, new vendors coming in? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if, look, if, if, if they can help us be more efficient, okay. Uh, you know, certainly saving us some money would be great, but if they can make us more efficient, keep us up to date, you know, on all, you know, regulations and taxes and, you know, whatever else, any vendor, if they can help us be more efficient and save some money, that's, that's what we're looking for. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I would love to be able to talk to you a little bit more about providing you with some efficiencies and solutions to your HR, HR and payroll. Mm -hmm. um, now, with that being said, I would love to learn a little bit more about your payroll and HR. Can you walk me through your payroll process? Yeah. Well, if I you know, keep it on computer on my Excel okay. spreadsheet. Okay. So, um, Having employees come in, how do they uh, clock in and out? We have a time time cards. Okay, so yep. the time card that you guys use is it like just a manual punch card? Yeah. And then, uh, how are those hours collected from the punch card? Do you go and grab them physically? That's it. Yep. And then input them on Excel. That's it. Okay. That's and how much time does that usually take? It takes me about an hour a week. An hour a week yep. that you're spending on doing that. Yeah. Have you run into any problems with that? With that process? No. Not really. Nothing. Okay. You know, nothing. Nothing noticeable. Okay. Are there any challenges you've faced with uh, your current payroll process? No, I just you know, re wish it was a little more efficient. Okay. But well, no, no problems with it. Okay. So what's what's keeping it from being efi efficient? I, I, maybe there's a more efficient way that we okay. just don't know about. It's just the way we've done it. It's the way I've done it, and it right. works. And yeah. You know. Okay. Hey, not a problem at all. I understand. I work with companies such as just like you that uh, have been used to using the same process and uh, they they don't know what's out there. And I would love to be able to talk to you a little bit about some solutions we have to offer you to improve that efficiency mm -hmm. that you guys have there. So you spend about an hour a day on payroll. Hour a week. Hour, sorry, yeah. Yeah. correction. Hour a week on payroll. Um, and you're also in charge of HR as well? Yes. Can you walk me through some of the HR tasks that you have to deal with on a weekly basis? Yeah, periodically we you know we do have to, we've got trainers here that okay. you know are directly involved in contact with our customers and, and so when we hire those new trainers, you know background checks have to be done, uh, okay. certifications uh, you know verified, okay. things like that. So when it comes to background checks, do you do you do the background checks? I do, yeah. Okay, and how long does that usually take you? Uh, you know, I probably I probably spend total five to six hours a, a month on uh, you know kind of what I guess what I would say HR HR stuff oh, on the entire process. Of, so, yeah, HR. Okay, so hiring individuals, getting the background checks done, yeah. tr getting them up to speed. Yeah, and just regulation, you know, and stuff in general. Right, and I know you addressed before when we were talking about some things you look for when bringing in a vendor. You looked at efficiency and keeping to up to date on regulations. Um, did you have any problems with keeping up to date with regulations? I, I would call it problems. Just, okay. You know, we're, we're trying to do it. Things change a lot. That's not what I do. Right. Um, so if we're, you know, there's a little bit of uncertainty if we, we have really kept up with it correctly and we're doing everything right. Okay. So you just want a safety net there to make sure that you are doing your uh, your payroll and your HR right so you don't get a, any penalties taxed on you. Yeah. We'd be interested in something like that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I would love to be able to walk you through some of the solutions we'd be able to offer you to save that time to give you that, take that burden away from you so you can get back to what you do best and that is running a successful organization to help women out. Okay. Um, so what we do. Um, what I would like to do now is kind of walk you through some of the things that ADP has to offer um, that we could bring to the table for your organization. Do you mind if we walk through that right now? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So what one thing that I saw uh, with your payroll, uh, current payroll process, is that you're using physical punch cards, correct? Correct. And you're looking to increase efficiency um, with, with your payroll process, correct? Yes. Okay. So what ADP offers its individuals is um, four different areas on how to collect um, uh, hours. Mm -hmm. So you could stick with the the way you already do it, which you're uh, with the time cards. But we um, take it to a next level. We provide security and efficiency there. Security in that uh, we offer the ADP badge terminal and the biometric time clock. Two options that are available to you. There's only a slight difference. The ADP badge terminal, you get a four digit pin and a key card. So each of your trainers, um, each of your employees that would come in, they would just punch in the, uh, 
their four digit pin or slide their card and the hours that they clock in and clock out at automatically get updated to your computer so it's there for you to see when your employees clock in and out where we take that to a next step is our biometric time clock and what we do differently there is we take away the four digit pin we take away the time card and we use our fingerprint so you your employees would come in pop their fingerprint on the scanner it would show that say Sally Jones clocked in at 805 a.m. and it would automatically update to your computer to where you can review it so there's no none of that going back and collecting all those time cards having that uncertainty there of okay did Sally clock in at 8 o'clock or 805 and you can't copy a fingerprint so there's no worry there of an employee clocking in for one another some problems that I these are some problems that I've seen with working with small businesses like yourself so just wanted to open you up to that not knowing looks expensive hey I would love to be able to get to price with you in a little bit I think just understanding what you are you're continuing to look for and some of the solutions we'd be able to offer I'd like to tailor kind of a custom platform for you and then address cost if that's okay with you no so in addition to that we also offer the flexibility of you doing payroll mobily so being a busy man like yourself looking to grow into the future you may be looking to expand to different locations I know now you've been in one location for about three years is that right correct yeah so yeah we would like to expand right so looking into the future you might be on the run and no pun intended ADP developed the run run by ADP so it's a mobile pay up payroll process processor that you could use to analyze and see your employees clocking in and out while you're on the go as well as your employees can utilize this technology from their smartphone to clock in and out so trainers that have off-site training sessions or in the classroom training sessions they could you access their time clock by their by their cellular device and I would love to be able to walk you through how easy that is to use my iPad open so I brought my iPad here it's a tablet what do you what do you currently use as a cellular device now I've got an iPhone so this is just like a bigger iPhone and you would get the same program on your iPhone so I'm gonna walk you through a typical payroll process if you want to click regular right there right there at the top so this is going to show you your payroll period that you're going to pay your employees at clicking resume it'll take you through all your employees that you have on payroll so ginger at the front office her hours would show up there and her pay would show up in the next preview spot so say ginger and in replace of Charles Clemente work 35 hours you would get that up-to-date and on time through either one of these terminals so rather than you going to collect sitting down for one hour having the input that in Excel it's automatically done for you it improves that efficiency that you were looking for there so we're gonna hit preview here if you don't mind hit and calculate it's gonna calculate your payroll for all of your employees for that given period so right now cash required to pay out your employees for that pay period is nine thousand nine dollars and ninety one cents you didn't have to go through any calculations on Excel and you didn't have to calculate any hours by hand it all did it automatically for you if you don't mind hitting approve there we're gonna approve our first pay payroll process with ADP approve payroll and it's done how easy was that to do payroll that was less than an hour that was less than an hour I think it was less than five minutes um in addition to that in addition to the payroll you spoke about hiring and um, bringing on more and more trainers and you haven't run into any problems yet re regulations but it is something that sticks in the back of your mind it's an added stress on your uh on day to day what adp is able to provide you is an hr handbook so we tailor a custom platform like i said before <clears throat> to your organization with that with that meaning we show all best practices in your industry whether it's from hiring background checks employee record-keeping or HR compliance like you stressed and ADP takes that burden of holding your organization to all the compliances whether it's on HR taxes and payroll so you don't have to worry about that you don't have to spend extra time studying and reading up on compliances and HR ADP takes care of that they takes care of everything 
And when doing background checks, in addition to that, ADP takes care of that as well. So if you were to provide us with a list of trainers that you wanted to bring into your gym, we would go ahead and take care of all of that background work there. And the background check and provide a, uh, a readout to you on their background. So you don't have to go and searching and looking up mm -hmm. them. We provide you the quality candidates back to you. Okay. Do you feel like that would help you hire more and more individuals for your organization and help them grow? I mean, it sounds like it would, yeah. Great. You, you, uh, you talked to me about getting to price, and I would love to be able to show you a pricing guide right now. Is that, does that, are you comfortable with that? Got to get there eventually. Got to get there eventually. Well, how many employees do you have on, on staff right now? Ten. <clears throat> you have ten employees on staff right now, so you would fall under this bracket at twenty-eight ninety-five per payroll run period. How often do you run payroll? Is that per person? No. This is per uh, per company. Okay. Weekly. You you run it weekly, mm -hmm. so we would. I have it. I have a booklet here that I will provide to you um, that you could sit down with Jeff and go over a few things. But we have a printout here of what you would pay. So six to ten weekly per month would be about $115 a month and about $1,300 a year. Okay. <clears throat> we have a one-time $150 implementation cost, so that would be added on your first month's uh, payroll run. And so that would just be $150 added to your yearly. How does that price look for you? Well, I mean, it's certainly, you know, from a payroll standpoint, you know, more than I'm paying now, but you know, if you look at um, what time it would save me, it should probably works out a little better. That's why we also want to look at Jeff you know, <coughs> Friend too, and see what, okay. see what that kind of deal with. Okay, you know, with and what program. company does Jeff Friend work for? I actually don't even know the name of it. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, how much are you guys currently paying for payroll at this time? Uh, well, really, it's just the time I spend because we put it in Excel. And your time is valuable, all right? Well, yes. Okay. I, I thought I like to think so. <laughs> well, I'd like to think so too. And you know, looking at your concern with being up to date on background on on HR compliances and tax compliances and that, on average, uh, a fine, if penalized, is between two and three thousand dollars, and that far exceeds what you would be paying in payroll. And ADP provides that safety net. We make sure everything is up to date there, and we make sure that you no burden falls on you. So if we make a mistake, we eat that cost right away. So that's another added bonus to you, and that helps you sleep at night there, and it helps you get away from all of this and work on growing your business. Okay. Does that kind of alleviate the concern there with the price that you have? Yeah, well, your price is always a concern. It is. It is, and I completely understand that, especially with a company that's three years old looking to grow into the future. Mm -hmm. But what ADP is able to offer you is the tools and the technology to help you grow into the future and to help you hire quality candidates and improve efficiency. Wouldn't you agree there? Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe more efficient is better. All right. Well, would you want to go ahead and get a... Uh, have me come back in and implement ADP in your organization? Yeah, you know, certainly want to talk to Jeff about it. Okay. Well, what do you think uh, uh, would be his concern with not going with ADP today? I don't know. I just maybe just that we talk to his buddy about it. Just to, just, okay. You know, see what they have to <clears throat> offer. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I want you to uh, weigh your options with what you have to do. But I just want to let you know that I care about your organization. So I'd love to be able to set up another time to where I can come back in and give this same presentation to Jeff and yourself. And we could go over the same things. And if you have any additional questions, I would love for you to ask me that. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So how about if we set up a time maybe um, about midweek and I could come back in around lunchtime and bring in some lunch for you guys. Would that work out for you? Yeah, that works. Oh, in the meantime, I would love to be able to provide you with this along with my business card. So that's a lot of information okay. on ADP and everything that we do. Um, and if you develop some questions beforehand that you want answered, please feel free to reach out to me through a phone number or email. Um, in addition to that, I do have a, uh, a customer testimonial from a company that okay. I just work with. They're a new company. They're about two years old, and they, they kind of had the same problems uh, or issues and concerns that you guys had. Oh, really? They've been in business for two years. They do everything in-house. The the manager, uh, Scott Inks there, he does a ton of stuff with Excel, but he realized that it was inefficient. So we implemented uh, we implemented ADP, and it's streamlining their HR and payroll, and they couldn't be happier with what they do. They actually, we caught a, a, a tax penalty before they ran their payroll really? when we went in there. So we saved them that two to three thousand dollars. I don't oh, know really? the exact number, but I got a phone call from Scott, so mm -hmm. he was very happy. So wow. 
Um, I have their their office administrator, Stacy Schutzel, there, and that's the number to reach out to them. They would be lo they would love that, to hear from That's them. right. That's that's right. Great. Is there anything else I could uh, uh, any sh other stresses I could alleviate with you today? Uh, it sounds like you hit you, know, you hit most of it. Well, I appreciate you meeting with me today. Um, I was, it was really great to meet you guys. I love, like I said, I love what your organization does, and I hope that uh, we can continue this relationship. You got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, thank you. Uh, right on time. Woo! Sorry for the dry mouth. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all right, man. You taking this back with me? Uh, I would like to. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, man. Good job. Thank you.